Cancers, and welcome to your December 2019 love reading. We're going to see what the end of the year has in store for you and what 2020 will be um, bringing in for your love life. So this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Not all messages will fit your situation, so please just take what's yours and leave what's not. Roles can be vice versa, and try not to get hung up on the gender of the cards we all have masculine and feminine energies within us so all right let's get your intention for the month of december and love cancer sun moon rising oops that was me sun moon rising and venus cancer what's cancer's intention all right you could be very focused on what you want to uh put your time your effort and your intention your attention into um finishing up the year um, really focusing on your work. You could be really busy at the moment um, within your job, within your career. But as far as love goes, um, trying to decide where you're going to put your focus on. What's going to make you the happiest? What's going to bring you joy and, and um, an abundance within your love life? You could have a decision between two people, um, Cancer, I'm also seeing as well. And you're just really focusing on work right now, trying to keep your mind off things. You're working really hard to try to figure out which direction you want to go into. I don't feel this is necessarily a cheating situation. This, If there's two people that you have to choose from, Cancer, this is more like you're just kind of openly dating and you have two people who really have got your attention or you know, you're trying to decide who to you know move forward with in a commitment um, but most importantly you're just trying to figure out what it's going to take to bring in this happiness and joy into your life um, in work and love all right the person that is in your energy or that you're dealing with cancers what is their intention towards our cancers all right their intention is to Build something that's strong and stable and consistent and reliable and just really um, coming into a long-term commitment. They view you as somebody that is like marriage material, somebody that they could really, um, you know, put down roots with. They're patiently waiting for you to make this decision. They're patiently waiting for you to move towards them. They know they have what it takes in order to, um, you know, make you happy, in order to they know they have what it takes or they believe they do um, to bring this into a successful commitment. But right now they're just patiently waiting for you. In the meantime, they are investing in their own future as well, building a stronger, um, stable uh, life for themselves. Cancer, what's your current situation? Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> I love in this deck, the Six of Pentacles is balanced, but yet they still have enough to give out. They know how to preserve and reserve their own energy, and they give out what, you know, they can. It's it's finding balance. These two cards in this deck, to me, signify um, a very strong connection to somebody. Um, you're trying to find balance in your life. You're trying to find healing as well. Patience is needed um, in this healing process. You uh, could have came out of a connection that was very out of balance um, and very hurtful that you're needing this uh, this time to to heal in, in an appropriate and a successful way. Uh, you could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but this person's very connected to the esoteric. They very, their spiritual center is so strong. They know, that's why they're sitting here patiently waiting. They know that if it's meant to be, it'll come back around. This person's very, very, um, you find this person very, very attractive. Um, they could be uh, dating other people as well. This could be like just recently met this person and you're both dating around type of energy. But they are very confident that you're going to come in their direction. Wow. Um, and they view you, they, they think you are their spirit you know, their future, their long-term commitment, their connection, most definitely viewing you as a uh, potential for a husband, wife, or a marriage situation can be same sex as well. Or these are the two people that you have to choose from a earth sign or a fire sign cancer, but that's very few of you. I feel this person is the same person. Um, 
that they're very grounded, they're very stable, yet they're very passionate. They're not afraid to make decisions and, and take chances, but yet they are very well, um, they're very well, uh, their abundance is one of their priorities as well. They could be a single mother or a single father, um, but this person is coming in at a very high vibration. This is a pretty amazing match for you, Cancer. So what's the current situation of the connection? The devil in reverse. So resisting temptations. Why is the devil here for the current situation, please? Let's get more on this. Um, coming out of a toxic uh, situation to come together. Like I said, resisting temptation. Um, doing it the right way. Yeah, wow. You know, the angel always trumps the devil. And most definitely in this case, uh, putting the toxic like over worrying so much cancer that it's become toxic to you you're putting that over worrying aside you're um you know taking a risk taking a chance not letting your thoughts get the best of you and um having an epiphany about this connection um knowing that this is like the rebirth of um love in your life most definitely this person is somebody that you view i mean we have both temperance and judgment here both uh, Michael and Gabriel overseeing the relationship wow where is cancer's next move where are they moving to yep releasing the old way of doing things releasing the past um you could be holding on to some kind of hurt that you have experienced in the past you're letting go of that not letting that ruin how you view this relationship because there's a lot of fear you're overcoming the fear. You're letting go of the past and you're moving forward, um, getting this epiphany. All right. The Knight of Swords also came out. So you could be removing some obstacles out of your life in order to move forward with this person, needing to tell the truth to somebody that it is over um, and that you're moving forward towards somebody else. Uh, if, the, if you do have a choice between a couple of people, where is Cancer's person's next move? What is Cancer's person's next move? They are also getting rid of other people in their life. Competition. Um, this person could have a lot of people that are after them. They are very attractive. Uh, they are very warm and inviting. Uh, they're stable and consistent. So they ha they do attract a lot of people who would love to be, um, you know, a partner with them. But they are shutting down everybody but you. They're not wanting anybody but you. Uh, cancer because they view you as their abundant beautiful new beginning and a relationship that they want to move forward and to see where this goes this person they have so much you know feelings and and admiration for you already i don't think you even uh know how much this person really cares about your happiness really cares about you being okay doing okay you could have just recently met this person but this person is very good and genuine at heart they truly want you to be happy, whether that's with them or without them. And with that, you know, energy coming at you, you you grow even more feelings for this person. You could be missing them too. There could be not speaking at, or the two of you could not be speaking like a whole lot, at, you know, this time. The um the next step for the connection is the King of Wands. So most definitely, this is a very uh very passionate connection. Uh, a pillar of, you know, like the two of you are just like pillars for each other. You are there for each other. Um, you know, you're devoted, you're loyal, you have good conscience. Um, and it's just, it's that beautiful vision that the two of you share for each other. And we do have, you know, now the King and Queen of Wands and the King and Queen of Pentacles. So this is a very passionate, loving, uh, like very charged relationship that has the potential for being very grounded and real and, um, you know, being able to withstand the long haul. Uh, it's not only passionate and, and crazy feelings for each other, but it's also grounded and real and not, you know, up in the ethers type of energy. It's something that can really be attained here, Cancer. All right, your feelings at the moment. Yes, you are getting out of a heartbreak. You could have been very, very, uh, you know, hurt in the past not by this person 
but you're you're needing to heal that that's what's needing to heal in order for this to move forward and i feel that's what you're working on that's why the devil is in reverse what is a uh, cancer's person's currently working on all right so they have the page of wands this person is very carefree um very like they're very driven, but yet they just kind of go with the flow. They're very in the flow of the universe. Um, they could be messaging you, Cancer, wanting to reach out to you to um, to see if you can start up something new. They're very enthusiastic, very excited about the future that the two of you could have together, the abundance you could grow, you could build, and just wanting to discover um, a, you know, your guys' life path together. Um, you are putting the past behind you so you can move forward. And um, they're here ready to reach out to you. All right. Spirit's advice is the six of wands. So most definitely move forward with, you know, your head held high. Move forward, you know, towards success. Move forward towards something that you feel will make you happy. Um one of you uh, could be very well known uh, in the public eye. And it's it, like the two of you like have the potential to be very successful together, especially with this Ace of Pentacles. Um, they could be offering you an, a door of opportunity that you never could have imagined. There is this opportunity for big love here as well, um, Cancer. So let's get your romance angel card here let's get one card for cancer please in romance one card please there we go and we got getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens it is clarified with separation time apart from your horizon er, <laughs> Time apart from your partner. So, like I said, I don't feel like you guys are together, together yet. You could you could have asked for time to think about things, um, to work out your own situation. So, there is a separation here right now. But the two of you are going to come together and get to know each other to have that bond grow and deepen. Because this is a soulmate of yours, Cancer. So, as you allow this hurt to be, you know, released and allow your innermost selves to be seen and be vulnerable to this person your bond is going to grow very very strong very very deep so all right cancers if this uh reading resonated with you please join me on the vimeo side where we are going to um get the blocks the actions to take the um potential outcome as well as i pull a spread for each um cancer sun and then another one for cancer moon cancer rising you know um, a separate spread with your energy, their energy, energy of the connection, and the outcome of 2019. So please join me over there. I would love to have you. If not, that's okay too. Thank you so very much for coming to my channel, for watching this video. I hope it helped um, in any way. Please subscribe if you haven't yet, and I will see you guys next time. Much love.